right, hello wine drinking people. Today is Friday, the 4th of January, and we have got some wine to sell you today. Let me tell you, one of my favorite producers from California, and you know, we like the producers that when they come in to see us, their hands are dirty, they're out in the vineyards, they are working, and Peter Figgy is one of those guys. You know, there's so many small wineries in California today, it is hard to keep track of some of these under the radar vintners, vintners but you know, uh, you never know who is gonna turn up to be the next Marcuson, the next Costa Brown, and uh, I'm gonna bet my money on Peter Figgy. You know, his wines, his Chardonnay and Pinot Noir have been on our best of list since the very first vintage, 2005. Well, the first vintage that we had here in the store. And again, two of the wines have made our best of list. The 2009 Pelio Vineyard Pinot Noir, which at Pelio Vineyard is located about six miles uh, to the east of the ocean uh, in uh, Monterey, right next to Talbot Diamond Tea Vineyard, uh, one of the most famous vineyards in that area. And uh, this is a small vineyard, and it was uh, planted back in 2002. Les and Nina Pellio contacted Peter. Uh, you know, Peter first started uh, working in the wine business in 1994. He did a little stint at Gurgitz Cellars and then uh, in Napa Valley, and then uh, went down to work in planting vineyards in uh, the Monterey Peninsula area. And uh, developed, I don't know, 1,700 acres of vineyards there from 1997 to 2002 after getting his master's degree in viticulture at University of California, Davis. He also did a brief stint in the Barossa Valley uh, before that. So uh, Peter's been around the world, and he knows great wine. His father, Jim Figgy, had about 4,000 bottles in his collection, still does. Uh, he's from Naples, Florida, actually. So he was brought up drinking great wines and thus developed his passion for this, and that's how he created this label in such a short period of time. But like I said, we've been on the Figgy bandwagon from day one and the Pelio Pino 2009 just a fantastic example of what you can do with uh, the right vineyard site in California and this wine's got a lovely smoke and cola note to it black raspberry fruit and some lovely exotic spices here and some earth and floral notes to the nose a good amount of that spice showing through on the tongue and wonderful freshness one of the things that you get from wines in cooler climates like uh, the Monterey Peninsula great for Chardonnay and for Pinot Noir this wine showing some tannins here it needs a little bit of time more pomard like kind of on the approach but uh, has a long zesty finish and uh, man all the right stuff just give this wine a little time only 811 cases produced most excellent juice the 2009 we've got a great price on this wine 32.50 our regular price is 44 dollars and 25 cents and we've got a good supply of this wine at the moment the 2010 figgy la riena chardonnay which is from the santa lucha highlands just uh, the next vineyard south that figgy uses to make his wines this wine man i have had more people tell me at figgy events that we've thrown I don't like Chardonnay, and I love this guy's wines. Well, this guy's got some lovely fruit to his wine, but great structure, great acidity, and some just the right touch of oak. You know, that's one of the things you get from people when they have white, great white burgundy for the first time. I don't like white wines, and I love this wine. This wine, even better on the second day, we showed it at our Chardonnay tasting back in April of 2012, and uh, I like to keep the wines on the second day, and this wine, well, I'm going to give it the vote for most improved. It was absolutely outstanding. Still on the second day, and that was with this just this much in the glass. Fantastic. And don't forget about the Syrah from the Sycamore Flat Vineyard down in Arroyo Seco. That's the furthest south uh, that Figgy goes on the Monterey Peninsula. And uh, this wine, a cool climate Syrah, has just a lovely zest to it. Not one of these big, over-the-top fruity Syrahs. Even though it does have some lovely jammy fruit to it, a lovely spice and wonderful freshness on the finish. A Syrah that you can keep for up to 10 years or more. Check it out. Everything we've got to offer you from Figgy Cellars on this offering. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the wine watch saying remember always drink the good stuff first